When you have two teams who play a physical style, is there anything you can stimulate in practice to to be physical, or is it something you just hope to establish early on in the game on Sunday? Well, I mean, it's a mindset. I mean, it's certainly something that you have to, um, you know, embrace. You know, it's, um, you know, it's something that, that we've tried to do in the past, and it's something that, you know, the Colts and, you know, a lot of teams in this league, I mean, it's football. You know, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a violence and a physicality to it. Um, you know, so I think that, you know, you have to practice it, um, you know, training camp, and also it comes down to, um, you know, the type of players that you have, their, their, their mindset. How would you assess the last couple of practices? Uh, it's the same way every week. You know, there's some things that we, we did well and things that we have to improve uh, and then still continue to clean up with this, you know, being Friday, you know, now in the red zone, and there'll be details that we'll have to get fixed uh, tomorrow in practice and continue the preparation all the way up until game time. How is that quest to find more guys that can cover? How has that been for you this week, specifically with, with Caleb Barber? Uh, we haven't really added anybody uh, new. So we'll just, you know, see. It's all, it all tells, you know, in the game. We, we've got to go out there and play. We've got to perform, it, but at every level. So I guess I'll redirect it. How has Caleb Barber's week of work been? I mean, it's been like everybody else is trying to improve and uh, take the coaching points and uh, trying to get ready to play. I think they've worked hard to try to, um, you know, figure out what they're, they're supposed to be doing and what their role may be uh, this week. Um, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, if they can help us. But you know, I think that their attitudes have been been outstanding. Uh, they've, they've tried to learn in a, in a short amount of time um, what we're doing and the terminology and, and where they may fit. It was a, a Cheeks learning curve, and I wonder if it's like more difficult. In terms of the the receiving game or the or the blocking, and in terms of his you know rookie development like that, well, there's just a lot of details that come up you know throughout this game and whatever call we have based on a you know personnel group or you know where he fits. So you know he's he's working hard. He's he's trying to help us on special teams and and trying to find a role on offense where you know we feel like he can help us. Aside from your goals for the game. Any specific message you have for them this week or that you've noticed a recurring theme that might be different than the first three weeks of the season? Well, I mean, just each and every week is, you know, its own thing. We're, you know, we've got some moving parts right now. And, uh, you know, just ask them to try to try to do it together, you know, try to communicate and try to, uh, you know, function as a unit. That's what it's going to take on Sunday is the 11 guys out there on the field, um, you know, working in, in unison and working together. What kind of things has Kevin Rader brought to the offense in terms of being another block and tight end that can help out? Well, he got some opportunities last week, and I, and I thought try to take the advantage of him. He's figuring out where he can fit on special teams and what that role may be. Um, so, and he had a couple, you know, finishes where, you know, like I said, I thought it was a nice job trying to come back and, and help the quarterback on a play down the field where, you know, he came back and got on a D lineman and, and tried to clean out the pocket and help the quarterback. and. And you saw him at the end of a run trying to finish and, and help Derek. So I think you know, he understands uh, the, the style in which we want to play and just a lot of things that you know, you know he needs to work on like everybody else. You get any kind of chance to, to see how Raidens has taken to, to guard since you guys kind of switched him in that direction? I think some of the practice reps that he's you know, taken have, have looked good. He's got some versatility now, which I think he's you know, really critical as, as we work our way through. Uh, bringing a new guy in, and so Dylan, you know, just I think the practice reps have been been positive and has tried to help us and be ready to go. Yeah. Uh, Hooker still in protocol. Mm -hmm. okay. You know who you can. Hooker, Cunningham, and Amadi.